Hey guys, John here with Osage County Guns. Last week we shot and published a video on Sig Sauer's P226 and P229 Legion series pistols. And we had a lot of great feedback from the, the viewers on YouTube and we had some uh, various comments and questions. One uh, of our commenters asked if we would do a comparison of the 229 Legion and the M11A1. We really focused most of, most of the attention during that video on the 226 uh, because we were comparing it to a stainless elite and an enhanced elite. The features on the P229 Legion are basically the same as the P226 Legion, so we didn't give the 229 variant much attention. Um, given the comments from uh, that individual and a few others on YouTube, we thought we'd shoot another video uh, comparing the uh, 229 Legion with a 229 Scorpion and an M11A1. First thing I'm going to do before we start actually handling these pistols is show that they are clear. Starting with the M11, the 229 Legion, and the 229 Scorpion. So the first aspect of my comparison is going to be price. The 229 Legion comes in as the most expensive with an MSRP of $1427. The 229 Scorpion has an MSRP of 1347 and the M11A1 has an MSRP of 1167 Now, obviously there is a bit of a gap there, especially with the M11 being the least expensive. Um, the Scorpion and Legion are only $80 apart, but what really sets these three pistols apart is their feature set. Another one of our commenters last week pointed out that we did forget to give you the weight on the 229 Legion. So we're going to make sure we tackle that today. Uh, bringing in our scale, I'll start by weighing the Legion and then I'll give the weights on the other two. I'm going to bring that down to ounces. Uh, the Legion 229 with no magazine comes in at 28.1 ounces. The Scorpion comes in at 29.5 ounces. Something to note is that I did not have a 9mm Scorpion available. This is a 40. Uh, there's probably uh, potentially a variance of an ounce or so on the 40 versus the 9 um, just because of the difference in the slide cut and the uh, weight of the barrel. So you're going to have to give or take an ounce on that. And last is the M11 at 26.6. So you're looking at a difference of about uh, two and a half, three ounces between the three in total with the M11 being the lightest. The first set of features I'm going to highlight on these three pistols is the front strap and the front of the trigger guard. Uh, the front strap on the Legion is checkered and is the same for the front of the trigger guard. You're going to notice on the Scorpion the same, basically the same um, cut. It's a checkered front strap, checkered uh, front trigger guard. When we look at the M11, you'll notice that it is line cut uh, versus the checkering. The other thing that you're going to notice is the M11 has a rounded trigger guard and the Legion and Scorpion, so rotate that up, have more of a square uh, trigger guard. As I rotate these three pistols up carefully, you'll notice that the Legion also has checkering on the underside of the trigger guard where the other two pistols do not. And the last thing I'm hoping to highlight here, if you can see it at this angle, is the Legion frame has an X5 undercut on the underside of that trigger guard. Um, that allows a better grip on the pistol itself and slightly reduced reach to the trigger. You'll notice the standard frames on the M11 and on the Scorpion do not have that feature. Looking at the finish of these three pistols, both the M11 and Legion are PVD coated. Uh, the M11 is black PVD, which SIG calls Nitron. The Legion is gray PVD. It's basically the same finish with a uh, just different color. The Scorpion is Cerakoted. The Cerakote is a different uh, application process and it's not as durable um, as PVD. It's going to be more susceptible to wear and it will show wear more quickly uh, given the same carry uh, conditions. All three pistols use two-piece grips. Um, these are polymer on the M11 and G10 on the Legion and Scorpion. 
the Legion has the most aggressive grip in terms of the texture, and the Legion also has the um, more aggressive uh, texture where your thumb will ride on that grip. You'll notice that um, the uh, Scorpion has the same, uh, you know, bevel, but it's it's not an aggressive texture, and the M11 has just the same consistent texture throughout the grips. The only other thing about the grips to note is that the M11 does have a lanyard loop where the others don't. The good thing is that if you need uh, a lanyard loop, um, you can buy the grips with that, and if you don't need it, obviously you can keep the grips that are on these pistols, but they are all interchangeable. Um, the 9mm versions of these three pistols do use uh, 15 round magazines. That's SIGS 229-1 magazines. Um, both the M11 and the Legion come with three magazines. The Scorpion comes with two. One thing you're going to notice about the M11 is that it has a non-railed frame, whereas the Legion and Scorpion have the railed frame. You'll also notice the UID tag, which is unique to the MK25 and the M11. Those are the only two commercial offerings from SIG uh, that do have that UID tag. Um, as we look at the slide, you're going to notice that the M11 has a standard slide with no front cocking serrations. The Legion and Scorpion both have front cocking serrations. Um, the other thing you'll note from the side of the pistol is that the Legion does have the reduced profile controls. The decocker and slide release are both reduced in their profile. And SIG did that so um, it, it is less prone to snagging and it also helps for uh, shooters that have a high ride grip. Uh, some shooters were experiencing premature slide lockback uh, when it was cycling and it was because their thumb was catching the control and it was you know inadvertently uh, catching the slide uh, lever and uh, causing the slide to lock back. Um, if you wear gloves that may be a more common uh, occurrence depending on how you actually hold the pistol. Um, internally the M11 has phosphate coated internals. Um, those are going to be more resistant to um, corrosion whereas the uh, Scorpion and Legion do not have phosphate coated internals. I'm going to rotate these pistols around and show you the um, back of the frame. The M11 has a standard non-beaver tail frame. The Legion has a reduced cut beaver tail and the Scorpion has SIG's standard beaver tail. Um, what you're going to notice and I'll try to just show you these three at a couple different angles is that the M11 obviously is the lowest profile the Legion has that reduced beaver tail compared to the um, Scorpion and the difference is probably a few millimeters maybe two three four millimeters um, but it is noticeable when you really you know look at the different angles and you'll see is we if we can get zoomed in there that the um, Scorpion's beaver tail arches up farther than that of the Legion. That's something I probably did not do a good job of illustrating on the last video with the 226s. And then here hopefully you can see the difference in the overall height of that beaver tail and if I rotate it down you might be able to see the um, difference as well. If we hold these three pistols exactly like I am, you're going to see the sights. Um, you'll notice that the Scorpion and M11 have SIG Light night sights. That's the standard uh, SIG night sights that they've been offering for quite a few years. Um, on the Legion, they've used SIG's newest design night sight. This is the X-Ray 3 night sights, and they offer increased daytime visibility. You'll especially see that front sight uh, it's much brighter with the, uh, the green insert. Quickly, I'm going to show the tops of these two pistols. The M11 and the Legion both have engraving with the logos. SIG's logo on the M11 and the Legion logo on the Legion. And you've got a standard um, slide, no uh, engraving on the top of the Scorpion. All three do use a DLC coated barrel 
Um, that's SIG's finish on the barrel, which is diamond light coating, if my memory serves me correctly. And that's just a um, uh, finish to the barrel, which offers, uh, from my understanding, increased uh, lubricity or uh, reduced friction, and um, it, it doesn't show wear as quickly as the traditional blued barrels. I think the last feature of these three pistols that I need to highlight is the trigger. Um, if you look at the M11 and the Scorpion, you're going to notice that they both have the same short reach trigger. Um, the short reach trigger is essentially a thin trigger um, compared to six standard pistols. I, I don't have one here to show you, but um, the standard trigger is thicker, which means that the actual reach to the trigger is greater than that on the M11. Um, as I decock it, you'll see the difference here um, compared to when it's cocked. Um, when it's decocked, it is increased, but with a standard trigger, uh, the reach is even farther. Um, all three pistols do have a short reset trigger. So after you discharge or, or uh, fire each round, the forward travel to reset the trigger is reduced compared to standard SIG triggers. You're going to notice here on the Legion uh, a, a new trigger. This is a Grey Guns Intermediate Adjustable Reach Trigger, and uh, my understanding is that this particular trigger is adjustable for over travel. And here, I, as I bring them a little closer, you can probably see the difference in the profile of those triggers. With the X5 undercut, your overall reach to the trigger is not that dissimilar than the standard uh, pistol with a short reset, or sorry, short reach trigger. So I had mentioned the price earlier on, and uh, obviously the Legion's the most expensive, but when you really look at the features and the value of those features, um, it really is a lot of value uh, in the package that you're getting at that price point. Um, I mentioned in our other video that the Legion is priced the same as the Stainless Elite. The same goes for the P229 Stainless Elite. It's not in front of you, um, but uh, the feature set is similar. Uh, however, there are a lot more features and there is a lot more ergonomics and uh, just overall thought put into the Legion compared to the other pistols. So you, you really are getting a lot of value. Um, the, the other aspect of the Legion series that is value added is the after purchase uh, incentives and interaction. When you buy a Legion series pistol, uh, you're going to get this card in the case. After you buy it, you can call SIG and register. They're going to send you a uh, custom Legion logo uh, foam case with inserts for the pistol, magazines, and then it also has inserts for a knife. They do give you a challenge coin with it. The knife is not included, but you're eligible to buy Legion logo accessories from SIG after purchase. You can't buy those accessories unless you're a Legion member. Um, the card shows some of those other accessories um, from the Legion logo, key bar, um, SIG Legion logo knives, um, custom holsters, uh, mag pouches, and um, this is a, a hinderer knife. I know Emerson is working on a knife with the Legion logo, and I was told that that particular knife does have the wave, which is a big uh, selling feature for Emerson's knives. Um, there's also other apparel on SIG store, anything from humidors, to ashtrays, um, t-shirts, uh, and, and I'm sure as time goes uh, we'll see even more uh, apparel items added to that. Uh, the other thing that you're going to get is exclusive access to new releases. You'll be informed before the general public about new Legion releases and um, that's helpful especially if you are uh, a big SIG fan and uh, may be interested in buying uh, new and future Legion releases. Thanks for checking our video today, guys. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Um, if you have questions, leave comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Check us out on Facebook or online at OsageCountyGuns.com. We do have in stock the majority of the six-hour line, and we try to keep all these firearms in stock. So if you're in the market to buy one, definitely keep us in mind. Um, like our last video, we're trying to encourage uh, conversations and participation from our viewers, so we do have some more swag to give away. Starting with the Blade Tech keychain, um, these go for about 10 12 bucks online, but uh, it's a keychain with the belt clip and the loop.
we've got three hats, Six Hour Logo, Christmas in Arms, I know it's not a SIG hat, but it's still a free hat, and a SIG Trucker hat. I've got one SIG Triple Retention Mag Pouch for MPX. It'll also take CZ Scorpion mags from what I've uh, come to read online. So if you've got a Scorpion or MPX, these would obviously be handy for you. And last is a Crimson Trace Defender Series Double XL shirt made by 511 Tactical. Um, we'll give all these away separately. Uh, we won't give them all to one winner. Each each commenter that qualifies, you know, will be eligible for one. All you have to do is leave a comment. You can literally say anything. Uh, Maybe we screw up something in this video, tell us. If you like the video, tell us. If uh, you want us to do a different comparison in the future among other SIG firearms, let us know. Um, just leave a comment and then we'll announce the winners about a week after this video publishes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, definitely subscribe to us and check us out online in the future. Thanks.